So I got into holding space for the doing part of things, like the coach part, the facilitator part. And what I found as I moved through holding space and then into a deeper quest was that it really began to change the being part of me, the how I approached conversations, the how I showed up in spaces, and how I wanted to um, change the way that I approached people and the kind of thoughts and the processes that were associated with that. And ultimately what it came down to was you can change all of the processes that you like. I had to change me. And so holding space in a deeper quest ended up about being really a journey of transformation and of having to go deep and do the internal hard work of who I wanted to be to show up in those places, to hold those conversations and meet with people in the way that I wanted to. It is almost impossible to say any short form, the impact of, uh, of the deep request and, and my work with Heather coming up to this. Um, so many areas have, in my life has changed as a result of being witnessed, of having uh, permission to go into areas that I had not looked at before. To, to move my body, to think um, outside the box about new modalities. Um, yeah, everything in my life is, is different. And I have a um, group of people who I can um, come back to. And this is not the end of the program, it's the beginning of a life. A few years ago, I set up a business which I called The Healing Space because I was aware that I couldn't heal anybody, but I wanted to create a space in which people could heal. Um, and I realised I didn't really know why or, or, or how to do that. Then probably I don't know, two, three years ago, I stumbled across Heather's work. I have no idea how, but um, it resonated in a way that nothing had before. And I didn't really understand why, because it was all about holding space. I think it, I made that connection with my business name. Uh, it has been the best thing I have ever done in my entire life, because it has, I thought I was doing it for the benefit of my clients, and it actually turned out to be for the benefit of me. And I realised that then that the whole concept of the healing space and the holding space is because I am the space in which people can, can, I can hold that space for people. I can only speak from my own experience, but my experience is that this work has changed my life completely and it will change how I go forward into the world and already is changing it. Um, so if anybody gets the opportunity to do it, then I would go for it. No problem. So. When I followed my heart towards Heather's work years ago, I had no idea where it would take me. And after the years of studying the concept of holding space and having it connect with how much that means to me, it grew into a dream where I've opened my own retreat center. And I want to share this work with others and I'm so inspired by the people I've met in the circles with Heather and having the foundation language around hosting circles has given me the confidence to have a vision and a building and a business this big. Twenty eighteen for me could have been the year that ended my marriage that had me really spiraled downwards. I was at a real state of burnout and, and did experience burnout in many ways. 
But because I was in the container through the holding space program and then into a deeper quest that Heather created and had that support around me of also those co-learners, it gave me the tools to work through that and use it to really transform um, both my work and my relationships and make 2018 probably one of the best years I've had in a long time, despite what it could have been. How this work has um, affected me, um, I, I think when I look at my kids who are teenagers now, people who haven't seen them in a while, they say, oh man, your kids are so grown up, they're so big, they're so tall, they're so different. Um, I, I look and go, I've been watching them grow millimeters and millimeters at a time, and so to me, they are not that different. But to someone who hasn't seen them in a while, they're, they're so different. And I kind of feel like this work has, for me, changed me in that way, and that I myself didn't really notice over the last couple years. I probably haven't really recognized or noticed the significant change that's happened. Um, <clears throat> but when I look back a couple years ago to say how I was teaching yoga, or how I was leading movement classes, my languaging, um, um, my feelings about it, and, and thus influencing my languaging, have just changed leaps and bounds. Um, like out of sort of rigidity or the way things are supposed to be um, into like an invitation and um, you know a welcoming and um, you know inviting people to sense into their own intuition and less about my you know, leading them somewhere. And so I, I think it's really fun to, to think of growth in that way. Like it's not always this like huge thing that happens overnight. It can be this like little incremental things that just start um, reshaping. And so I feel like I've been reshaped <laughs> um, from the inside out. And you know, I think one of the biggest things for me um, I feel like I've often been in positions of leadership, uh, whether I wanted them or not. And when you're in a leadership position, you know, and when I've been in leadership positions, I always feel overly responsible for everybody and forget about myself and I kind of bypass myself. And um, this work has really taught me to be vulnerable and to accept, to ask for what I need, and to then actually accept that, to accept compliments, to accept help, to accept a shoulder to cry on, um, and that, to recognize I need support sometimes too. And um, so that's been huge. And I, I think the real piece in that for me is that I am worthy of that. <laughs> that I am worthy of receiving that too. It's not just, you know, for me to give out to others all the time, but I actually am worthy of receiving it. And um, yeah, and I feel like, you know, yesterday we, we had this opportunity to take this leap, you know, if we wanted to, to, to leap into something. What are we leaping into? And I'm like, I'm leaping into my next like level, my next stage of, of worthiness. Mm -hmm.